Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm JP, if you haven't watched any of my videos before. And we are at Fox Hills campsite. It's an adults only campsite in North Norfolk near Weybourne, on near Holt, on near Sheringham. It's not too far away from all those places, right next door to the military collection. Absolutely lovely campsite. I've been here before, so I'll stick some videos up where, I, where I've been here before rather than uh, show you all about it. Anyway, we're waiting today for a couple of really good friends of ours, known for flipping donkey's years, Vince and Tracy, or Vinny, as we all know him as. And they're going to come along this weekend. It's Easter weekend, and I'm doing this bit on the Friday, Easter Friday, so happy Easter to you all. And we're going to go out and have some adventures. Now, Vinny is a foodie, a bit like me. Unfortunately, he can eat everything, and I can only eat meat, fish. Yeah, meat, fish, and cheese. Because I'm on this low carb diet. I think I've lost a bit of weight already. Sammy, have I lost a bit of weight? You'd say I had if I hadn't. But I think I've done a few pairs. Well, I'm doing my shorts up a lot better now. And uh, it looks like I've ironed my t shirts at the front with a wok, though. I don't know what that's all about. But look. Look at that. Get in there. Are you back to me fighting weight soon? Anyway, so we wait for Vinny and Tracy to turn up. And we're going to take you lot along on our adventures. See what we can see. How'd you like that? I'm good, and I? Good to you. I hope you like the last few videos. Them peregrine falcons. What a flipping lovely bird. Absolutely fantastic. I could stand there all day. Well, I could. I don't know about my neck. But we'll probably go back there in the summertime when the birds have fledged, when the chicks have fledged, because they put on a lovely display and they make a lot of noise. They're very vocal, shouting to their parents, bring me food, bring me food, bring me food. So we're going to go and have a look at that in the summertime. I hope. Kind of given up on the hairs. And I went to Clay Spy, the binocular shop this morning, and what was running in front of me and then dived in through the hedge, a bloody hare. Would you, Adam and Eve, it? Anyway, oh, I haven't seen, I haven't seen many. But I'll see you in a little while and see where we end up, eh? Hey? You have seen a hare. What, one's on my chin? No. Oh, yeah! Roger and Michelle come to the campsite and he knew I was looking for hair. And he was like, you seen any hair yet? I went, nah. And he went, I'll tell you what, I'll do you a favour. I brought one for you. Look! Badger hopping hair, pal Al. Oh well. It's a very close second to actually seeing the hair. Thanks guys, I really appreciate that. It did make me chuckle. Anyway. Back on with a video. Right, friends are turn up. Vinny and Tracy, they're here, look. Vinny's bought a little bottle of wine with <laughs> Tracy. And they've brought... Oh, we've had a laugh. You'd have laughed. Our friends just bought this van, like a little day van. It's really nice inside. Bought it with one of our other friends. But Tracy loves a particular bird, so Vinny's stuck all these stickers all over the side of her van. But she loves, she always loves these birds. However, the bird is, and we've started to pull it off now, the bird is, I don't think you can see that. A flamingo and they were bright pink when you put them on also it's a nice event also they've got a great big pink flamingo flag when they turned up yesterday and put it all up I enlightened them what the pink flamingo means when you got a motorhome or camper 
Google it, I'm not going to tell you on here. But Tracy was absolutely mortified when I told her. Absolutely mortified. And she's got out of a van this morning and she's got flamingo pyjama bottoms on. She went over to the toilet so I went, you be careful going over there in them. <laughs> but look at that. I said, you couldn't have got a lower one, could you? Oh well. So we're going out today, taking a little walk. Been here before, but the guys haven't, so might as well take you for a little walk around here so you can have a look. Get a little video out for your Sunday evening entertainment. The bandana. I think one of these for ages. It's been too flipping cold and windy. See you in a bit. Sharing a market. Look at that. Just managed to get parked up. Flipping nightmare. Well lucky. I'm going to put you over onto my other mic, I think. Right, just looking at the ads. <laughs> Vinny's just bought yourself a tweedy oh, yes. flipping waistcoat, one, one, one. look. God's sake. The man just literally walked into the market. They've got loads of stuff here. Perhaps we'll get flat cap as well, go with it. Yeah, why not, mate? <laughs> yeah, I just want that, look at that one now. Over the back. A business. You look like you need a pair of Hunter Wellies now, mate. You're off. God, it's dragging me away from here. I don't think I've took you around the market before. There's all dog beds here, look. Car washing stuff. Cards. Ooh. Oh, we had one of them for him. Oh, look, there's some trackier there. Mmm, nice yeah, bit of track. That That's a throat. Loads of stuff. I'm gonna uh, go now before the hoof jokes come out. Yeah, look, goose eggs. You don't see them very often, do you? What time does this open till today? What time does this open? Two half two. Oh, two. Oh, I might have to have a bald goose egg. There's loads of stuff here. Look, all this nice stuff, homey stuff. Okay, yeah, I'll have. Okay, oh, hey. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why not? Yeah. Mmm, goose eggs. Oh, your dog chews? Oh my god. We're getting followed by flamingos. <laughs> I can't believe Tracy didn't know what it was. Oh god. She ain't seen this yet. Look at that lady now, look. God, I'm going to lose her in there for about an hour. Easter weekend. Look at this. It'll be lobster. Mm, look at that. I'm just having a bit of a snacky snack. Vinny. Roughing it like all the other four people. Yeah, roughing it. But Vinny's got a whole plate, a whole carrier bag full of, what are they? Lamb chops, but they're... Mamanoid. Tandoori lamb chops. Tandoori lamb chops. We're going to munch out on them. Chroma crabs. Chroma crabs. Lobsters. I'll treat myself to a bit of bread. Sod it. Look at that, chroma crab. Best crab in the world. No one. Happy days.
Vinny and Trace area. Look at what they made us. Goose egg, scrambled egg, smoked salmon, sourdough bread. That I can't eat, but I might do. Mm. Oh, that was a bit of a whirlwind day. Loads of food, indigestion. Wish I'd have eaten that bread now. Jesus Christ, that gave me jip last night. We brought them into Blakeney today, because in this village hall, here is a craft fair today. So we're just giving a bit of a whirlwind tour. I thought I'd bring you along too. So they've never been to this sort of part of the coast before, Vinnie and Tracy. But Vinnie's announced to me that he's definitely coming back. Likes Fox Hills. Fox Hills is such a beautiful site. It's really quiet, really boutique -y, really nice. Just leave you alone. There's everything you possibly want there. And so many places along this coast, as you'd have seen in my last few videos since we've been here. But I love it. And I love these flinty faced buildings as well. I don't see that in the distance here. But this is the village hall, right at the top of Blakeney High Street, and you can park here for free. And there's public toilets there. So we're gonna go and have a look in here, because this will be dog friendly in here, and this craft fair. Here we go. So let's have a look. There we go. Craft fair. 10 to 4, free entry, dogs welcome, refreshments. Happy days. Let's go and have a look in here, eh? So I brought you in here. Some lovely stuff in there, look. Let's have a little walk around. All sorts of stuff. Paintings and clothes, bird boxes. And it's not massively expensive either. I mean, that bird feeder there's 12 quid, that bird box 15. I mean, come on. It's all pretty reasonable. They don't have your trousers down over this stuff. Little cafe. Oh, cheesy scones. My mate Dan loves those. Not cheesy scones, Dan. Oh, yeah. A little diamond painting, that's what Sammy does. I'll put a link to a video where she makes those. Let's have a look around. Oh, they're so good, look. <laughs> oh, glasses, cases, artwork. What a nice little place. Nice little walk around in there. Some nice cushions there. I might go and get some cash out and go and buy those. But, oh my guts today. Really bad indigestion. So I'm going to have to pop into the spa down there and get some milk. And some Rennies, hopefully, if they've got them. I will do it, won't I? Oh, well, at least it proves that what I'm eating is working. Right. Seafood again. Not happy. How dare they shut and I'm in Norfolk? Bloody shut. Hopefully, the one down on the quayside's open. <sighs> Glam bomb. That's why I like to see kids crabbing. Good net. Tides in today. There's not as many people around as I thought there was going to be, to be fair. Tracy and Vinny are enjoying it because we get to see different places that they haven't seen before. Happy days. Balance has been restored to the world. The seafood shack on the car park is open. Yabba dabba do. Look, all the herring goals. Waiting for the pasties and chips. This trip, I've never seen so many lurchers. Obviously, Raven's a lurcher, but just bumped into another couple with Whippy Cross Bedlington. See so many of them. 
getting fresh now. So that little stand there, they do oysters and all sorts of stuff in there, crab sandwiches, pots of prongs, whelks, mussels, all sorts of stuff. Fancy some whelks actually. That there's a craft shop, it's really nice in there if you come down there, it's beautiful. And next door there's coffee breakfast, cakes, cake, loaded fries and burgers and stuff out there. Behind that's your toilets, they're open all the time, nice and clean. But this car park, I think this car park's owned by the National Trust. Come here. But, ooh, there's a lot of people here today. There would be, it's Easter Sunday. <laughs> got my ice cream. Flip here now, I don't know where he puts it all. Bloody hell. It's a bit nippy today. No, you're right, thanks, darling. It's a little bit nippy today, considering it was flipping lovely or not yesterday. I hate that. Be consistent, weather. I mean, clay now. Clay, 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 clay. We parked up in this little car park. It's come out of Blakeney. Clay's over there. I don't usually bring this this bit. This is right over the back. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Little Lee Grip run, running around in the field. I'll just bring the guys here to have a look around. Cly. Let's go and have a look around the shop, so. Flipping out there everywhere. Guess who noticed that? Tracy. Look at that spoonbill. That's beautiful, isn't it? If you haven't seen the spoonbills, I'll put a link up to the video I did over on Cly Marshes, where myself and Liam got some outstanding spoonbill shots. They're flipping lovely. Look at that seal. Some people are so clever, and I love this bar now, look. Absolutely gorgeous. They've gone in there to look at the food. There's a theme in there. Flamingos and food. Went in there. What have we got? Smoked pigeon breast. Smoked pigeon breast. Oh my god. Mmm. Can try a bit? Yeah. Smoke pigeon breast out, it's a clay smokehouse. Nom nom nom. What are you eating now? Pork pie. <laughs> Wild garlic. Wild garlic pork pie. I eat my way through the whole of Norfolk. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you put it? Where did it out? Right, we thought we'd come out for a walk and walk up to the pub and it weren't too bad we walked out got right over there at the bottom of Muckleborough Hill onto the coast and it started raining and then the wind got up and it rained some more I am flipping dripping however at the end of this road there is a pub so we're gonna head in there and have a pint I think we flipping deserve it. Oh, it's getting a warm. Oh, flipping hell. Got to the pub and it stopped raining. <laughs> oh dear, look, the shipping in Waybull. Really nice, proper nice food in here. So I think it's just up the ramp. There's old Soggy there. Are you Soggy, mate? Here he comes. Legendary. Got some food. Oh, have you? <laughs> Cheers, mate. <laughs> Stretchings. Right, we're going to have a well deserved pint of beer, and I'll see you back at the van. We left the girls there. Sammy's teaching Cra uh, Tracy how to crochet. So we thought we'd come out and get soaking wet, walk up to the pub, and have a pint. Got a better deal, really, haven't we? 
lovely. Nice Guinness. Let's get him back because he's flipping freezing. And we've just decided we're going to have a Ruby Murray tonight. A curry. <laughs> we made the executive decision. We can't be bothered to cook. We've eaten everything else in Norfolk. Now we're having a curry. But that Le Bon up the road in Sheringham is the business. So we're going to get a curry out of there. <laughs> can't wait. Whew. So we dried out. Come back from the pub. It started flipping raining again. Look, look out the window, look. Unbelievable this weather. Anyway, we're back in Gladys now. We've got the heating on full blast. It's flipping lovely in here. Raven's all dried out, and we're just looking up the menu for the Le Bon Indian restaurant. We're gonna have a nice Indian. Can't flip him, wait. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Really appreciate it. Thanks for your subscribing. Make sure you're subscribed. Check the subscribe button because a lot of people are being unsubscribed by YouTube. For some reason, I don't know why, but anyway, just check for me, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Hopefully, it'll be nice weather. But at the end of this video, I've put a nice spring day up and some beautiful wildlife, some birds, and right at the end is a little special visitor that Raven spots because Raven is the spotter for this particular species. So, have a little look at that basking in the sunshine, absolutely beautiful. So, from us. Bye now. Tracy, Sammy, over there. <laughs> there we go. You stay safe. You stay sane. Look after yourselves. Oh, and when I get back, I'm going to be handing over a big lump of cash to Mind Charity. So I'll notify you when that video is coming up. And I hope you've had a lovely Easter weekend. You look after yourselves, eh? Look after each other, and I'll see you soon. Bye.